Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we are playing Vedalim, the Golden Horde free-to-play game on Steam. It's an RTS with, um, I think it's streamlined. I guess that's the best way for me to describe it. I like it though. Uh, I made a few videos on this game so far, and we're going to try, those were both skirmish. One was like, basically easy and then medium, or easy and then normal, like it was, anyway, we're going to try Endless. And I, it's exactly what it sounds like. You start the game and there's a timer and you see how long you can last. Okay, WASD to pan the camera, which I love personally. Uh, there's, again, it, this game is streamlined, so like, you don't need... Hang on a second here, let's let's get some things going. We need the wood. The wood. Okay. Do we need a farm? Uh, I'll take 100, sure. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so WASD, the reason that we can use those to move the map around, or the reason that we can't in most RTS games, is there's a lot going on. You know, there's a lot of complexity, and you need the W, A, S, and D keys for keyboard shortcuts, right? In this game, um, you know, it's just, it's simplified, so we don't, we don't have that. Uh, so anyway, I like being able to use those keys to move the map around, because half the time, I don't use keyboard shortcuts anyway. We're going to get this tile down here. Then once we're up to 120 again on wood, uh, up here wood, well actually, population for military units, wood, food, stone, iron. That's how it works. Iron's over here. Wood is obviously the trees. Stone is the stones. <laughs> food is the, the farm from the farmland. Anyway, yeah, once we get up to enough, we're going to build another one. This is it for now. Let's see what else there is. Let's see what our, uh, our other iron deposits are because those are really important. And in the last video that I made of this game, we kind of like ran out. Kind of like ran out of... There's another one. Cool. Ran out of iron deposits or like convenient ones. So we built all the walls and then I realized, oh shoot, there's iron like right outside the walls. And then, uh, oh, there's some more. Okay, we might just be like expanding that way quite a bit. I'm not sure when to expect enemies. I like that there's a river here. It looks like a river, right? It's flowing uh, perpendicular to the shoreline instead of like at the shoreline. So that would indicate a river instead of like a sea or an ocean, a larger body of water, even a lake. Get some more wood. Oh, wait. Oh, we already have that one. We already have that one. Okay. Um, I forgot where we were, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's go up here and we're going to get the... We're going to territory expansion right into the stone and we'll start getting some stone once we have enough wood we're at 150 out of 180 for the stone i also like this i like natural barriers that's kind of what i'm getting at for something like this it, it's kind of like comforting to be able to uh close yourself in nations have been doing it for thousands of years territory expansion 140 wood i guess we'll get that one next however i think it might be more prudent to get Let's get a military camp going so we can produce military units. I think, um, let's see. We're going to put this here because this might be a great spot for a farm, right? We're also going to do passive income if we can at uh, keep, keep upgrade level three. Well, it looks like another great, this is, this is a mountain. You can see how the camera pans out because it has to remain a certain distance from the ground. And like up here, we're super high. And this is the edge of the map right here. So we, we don't have a, an enormous map. Oh, shoot. There's already guys. No. Uh-oh. That was bad. Poor planning on my part. Might lose right off the bat here. Gonna go snag up this unit. The keep has a surprisingly low amount of hit points. Let's build, I guess, a farm here. Boop. Get him, boys. Okay, and can we get another? Yeah, we can. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? What do we want? Let's go up here and let's get closer to this iron over here. No, get in there, guys. We we want the man at arms. Yeah, there we go. To get like up in their face, so they get off our keep. Oh, 40 population. We don't have it. Let's build some more houses. Boop. Need more wood. These houses build really fast, though. We'll be okay. It's like a Gatling gun sounding 
thing of arrows. If you're like over here, it's like not the most graphically intensive game, right? Don't care, it's free on Steam. It gets a pass on most stuff. I've discussed that before on my channel and in another video of this game. Um, um, I believe wholeheartedly that um, in like uh, reviewing games or like, you know, my impression of games that are free are, are a lot more forgiving than games that cost $60. If it costs $60, that's a lot of money to me. If it costs $60, it better be like, I, I don't know, I mean, not, not revolutionary like every time because that's just about impossible, but I expect a lot, right? Like 60 bucks is a lot of money. So I expect a lot out of the game. That's all. Um, do we need more? Yeah, we're going to get more wood. 12 is good enough. What else do we need? So we have food right now. We have a ton of food. We need more population. So, shoot. Um, boop. Wow. Okay, build more. We want to use up that food. There we go. House built. Sawmill built. More guys coming in. Shoot. I don't think we're going to last that long. I better start taking this a little bit more uh, aggressively, seriously. We're just keep, we just keep running out of food. I mean, out of wood. We don't have enough wood to build the infrastructure. What are the archers? The archers are like in the thick of it? Are you kidding? Get out of there, guys. <laughs> Why are you like right next to everybody? That's the whole point of having archers is that they can do damage from afar, right? No, just, oh, there's the one horse right there killing the archers. Oh, well. What else do we need? Territory expansion? We need more wood. We need more everything. We need more guys. This is not going very well already. Um, we need another one of these buildings, right? Yeah. And the wood is just killing us. I'm trying to build out, you know, like the infrastructure, and it's just not... Our archer unit's going to die. Uh, they're fighting two... Mongol horseman units. So their attack is six. No, where's the Mongol horseman? Attack is 16. Okay, the keep, in order to upgrade it, we need more, more, more wood. This is driving me nuts. Let's build all the wood uh, gathering buildings that we can right there. I guess that's it, actually. What about down here? Did we lose one? Yeah, looks like we did. Or did did we? I can't tell. I can't click on the building right here. But it looks like there's... Maybe we just can't build on top of that thing. Okay, cool. Okay. Yep, yeah, build, yeah, build those things. Cool, so now we are... Uh, we're, we're maxed out on... Population, so we need more houses. Also, uh, a cool thing about this game to me, we're going to build that thing. A cool thing about this game to me is, um... Oh gosh, are you kidding? I just forgot what I was going to say. Wow. I don't know, it just like struck me like a ton of bricks and then just went away real fast. Oh well, I'll think of it again. Build iron. Oh man, that is just, a sh just oh, not a very good iron deposit right there. Do we need food? Uh, we will. We will. We're going to build a farm. 60, 72, 78. That's fine. Right there. I don't know. Like, it seems to me like this circle, this farm is using this circle of land. So like when you overlap, it should reduce the productivity, uh, productivity of both farms, right? Um, it doesn't appear to. I don't know. Oh, there we go. We can upgrade. Okay, cool. We can upgrade that now. That'll unlock uh, elite archers. And let's build another farm. 60, 55. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, oh, we go this way. 71 looks good. Holy cow. I don't think this is going to go well. We're going to build... Mm, not very good. We'll try to like decimate these units as quickly as possible. It's not happening very quickly, though. And they are just opening the floodgates on the keep. Pretty sure that's game over. There's nothing we're going to be able to deal. I guess we could... Tr oh, look at all these units. They're, like, messed up. We'll come over here and we'll try. Like, we'll just... We'll put our... We'll put our guys right in the middle of theirs. But, I mean, the keep. Look at it. Ugh, brutal. Brutal. I haven't played RTS games in a while. There haven't, like, been... 
from what I can tell, any, like, you know, really uh, genre-defining or, like, genre-improving games in years. And I understand why, but, like, that that's why I haven't played in a long time. I think Company of Heroes was the last game, last RTS that I gave any, like, serious time to. And... Um... I haven't really been paying attention to that genre a lot because it just seems like it's kind of it's worn out, you know. <laughs> like it, it's 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 hard to make improvements. I think I think I've made my point. I'm sure there are people who would disagree. And uh, if you have games that you recommend that are genre defining for RTS games, then let me know. I think this one isn't defining, but it's different. We're gonna lose all of our guys here. And like we just we don't have. I wasn't really prepared for like en that many enemies that soon, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at these games. I'm okay with it. But yeah, so this one isn't like genre revolutionizing. It's not some sp super special thing. I just like how, how quick it is. A lot of RTS games, my problem with them is the build-up. You spend half an hour building up every single time you play it. Um, unless you play like... I remember uh, Supreme Commander... Supreme Commander, I really liked the campaign in that game because every, like, new mission, it would just expand the map so you didn't have to rebuild the same base over and over. But, um, it's just, you know, it's the nature of the beast in RTS games. But anyway, that's that's a big reason, I think, that I like this game um, is it's the, the base building is kind of simplified, but it's a catch-22. Anyway, here, let's go back to the main menu. That's it for this one. Go check this game out for yourself. It's free to play on Steam. Came out pretty recently, like, the 22nd of June, I think. Uh, 2021. Thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I appreciate it. I release content every day and we'll see you in the next one.